Hey guys, it's Sui. Welcome back to my shout out and welcome to the first day of summer specials. Woo! Basically, summer specials is a special week that I do every single year in the summer where I upload videos every single day relating contents related to summer. I've been doing it for like two, three years now, and I know you guys love it. And I personally love preparing for it, filming with these awesome other YouTubers, preparing these awesome contents for you guys. So I hope you guys will also enjoy summer specials of 2021. For the first video, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys the best sunscreens of 2021. I know we had a lot of chaotic and fiasco it tick-esque moments during the past year but I think you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger like we've seen the industry has seized this and turned it around and we're seeing a lot more improvements a lot more upgrades so I have rounded up three sunscreens that I thought was so worth looking into so let's jump right into it shall we Woo! ow I hurt my hand for the first product, I bring you guys the Be Plain Clean Ocean Moisture Sunscreen. Now this is indeed an upgraded version. They've renewed it. And it's called the Clean Ocean Sunscreen because it's, apparently it's a product that's safe for the ocean. It's good for the ocean because first of all, they've excluded six ingredients that are known or claimed to be harmful for the ocean, the coral reefs. And second, what I actually found really, really impressive about this product was that they've actually used a biodegradable plastic in this product. So this plastic that you see here is not a regular plastic. She has special plastic. And if you look on their website, they actually give you a very thorough instruction on how to recycle the product after you're done using it. So I thought, okay, that's really, really exemplary. Like Be Plain is sincere and they care about the environment. It's not all for show. And so huge points for Be Plain for making that happen. Now let's just move on to the ingredients in the formula, which is very, very important. Like I mentioned guys, I cannot do physical sunscreen. I just can't. I just can't with the zinc oxide. I'm sorry, okay? And I hate it. I hate it when I have to pull on my skin to blend the zinc oxide out. It's like, ugh. It's not good for her, okay? So this is indeed a chemical sunscreen. And let me just read you guys off the ingredient list. It actually has three to four awesome UV filters, including UVA Plus, which is great for UVA protection. UVA T150, which is great for UVB protection. Remember, we need both. UVA is what causes the wrinkles, the sunspots, the re the aging of the skin, and UVB is what causes the redness, you know, when you get it like a sunburn. So remember that we need to have both UVA, UVB protection. So you need to look out for the SPF number and also the PA, which refers to the UVA protection. Remember that, guys. Uh, it also has Tinosorb M, which is broad spectrum, and a diethylexyl butamina triazon. Wow, that's a mouthful. This provides part UVA and and UVB protection. So it has actually four UV filters. I think that's good enough for me. Now, like I said, this is a chemical sunscreen and oh, it feels so soft and so smooth. It feels like a lotion. If you guys were a fan of the, you know, Dear Claire's UV Essence Airy Soft, whatever it was called, it was also one of my favorites. If you are into those formulas, you are absolutely freaking absolutely gonna love this one no dragging no stickiness and after you're done it does seem to leave kind of like a milky sheen but it does disappear with time so no apparent white cast whatsoever and it feels really really hydrating as well and it just seeps right in so formulation wise i have nothing bad to say about this product they've aced it with the ingredients they aced it with the formulation they aced it with the environmentally friendly factor as well so yeah definitely definitely check this out out. This is the sunscreen that I've been using at the moment. Next up, we do have the Round Lab Birch. Damn it, I always forget the English name. Birch Tree Moisture Sunscreen. I'll leave it here. Now, I have actually mentioned this a quite a few times in my channel, in my couple of my previous videos before. This is indeed also an upgraded one. Remember, guys, Round Lab was definitely one of the brands that kind of was one of the targets of the whole scandal, of the whole fiasco, but they've turned it around and they stepped up and they're back in the game again. And I really love them for that. And I gotta say, actually, the formulation is very, very similar to the B Plain one. And as a matter of fact, if you check the manufacturer, they're both made from the same company, Kama, which is a huge manufacturing uh, company in Korea. I'm very, very famous. Brown Lab one is also a very, very lotion-like hydrating one that actually leaves a really nice 
nice glowing sheen afterwards. And I've noticed that the glowing factor, the hydrating factor lasts a pretty long time on my skin. Now bear in mind that even though I used to have oily skin, I definitely do have drier skin type now. So considering that factor, I think this may feel a little bit too heavy. It might feel a little oily if you have oily skin. If you guys tried this and you have oily skin, let us know down below in the comments so we can all know how it worked out for you. But as for me, I have combination dry skin type now and it works beautifully. Uh, not only does it protect my skin from the UV rays, but it actually does a really good job in hydrating my skin at the same time. And along with the B Plain one, the formulation is just top notch, one of my favorite formulations. And let's take a look at the UV filter ingredients. Likewise, this also has uven A+, uven T150, Tipsor M, and DFL hexabutamino triazon. So they actually share the same ingredient list when it comes to the UV filters. But I've noticed that with the renewed version of this product, Round Lab definitely added a lot more ingredients. They've added a little bit of that specialist, which compared to the usual products that Round Lab has, it seems a little extensive but they've included ingredients such as, hang on, I didn't memorize this, hyaluronic acid, mugwort extract, ascorbic acid, and adenosine, et cetera, et cetera. So they've definitely did elongate the ingredient list, which I don't mind. I didn't find this bothering on my skin, but if you do have extremely sensitive skin, make sure to check it out before you use it, just in case you're allergic to something. But yeah, there we go. Last, I present you guys the AHC Safe On Light Sun Serum. And I indeed bought this because Mehdi, the Chipdori kid, recommended it to me. And wow, I am so impressed. Now, unlike the first two parts that I showed you guys, which had milkier lotion-like formulas, this definitely is a distinct, has a distinct formula. Now, like its name, it almost feels like a serum, a legit serum, and it has a transparent formula with little, little balls in it that pops as you spread it out. Now, AHC is definitely a brand that is more targeted to mature skin types, you know, our mothers, grandmothers, and that's why most of the products are pretty nourishing. They're pretty rich, and their ingredient list is very extensive. It's like essay. It's like an essay long, seriously. Let me first read to you guys what they've included for the UV filters. They've included UVNA Plus, Tinnorsorb S, UVNA T150, and two other UV filters. So that's five UV filters ingredients for you guys. That's a lot. That's plenty for me. It's got broad spectrum. And for the additional specialist ingredients, they've, they've included a, an array, a variety of ingredients, let me tell you that. They've included seaweed extract, clove extract, fermented ingredients, dessert, rose leaf cell extract, arbutin, glutathione, so. I mean, that's AHC for you. I've noticed that they do like to go all out with the ingredient list, and like I said, I think it's because they do target the more mature audience, and you know, with our mothers, with our grandmothers. Now, of course, I'm generalizing, but my mother loves it when it's like filled with all these good goodies, and she wants more. She can't get enough. So it is definitely catered to a specific audience, but I gotta say, ingredient list aside, I really, really enjoy the texture, the formulation, how it works on my skin. Now, it's not a watery serum. It definitely has a bit of like gloopiness to it. So it will stick onto your skin. And I think this formulation just adds a nice layer of that moisturization, that extra hydration, moisturization, that nourishment. So I really, really enjoyed using this as well. And I think if you do have more mature skin type or you have more of a dry skin type, you will absolutely enjoy using this product. Yay! All right, guys, that's it for my top three recommendations of sunscreen for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys also have great recommendations that you found, please let us know down in the comments because sharing is caring. All right, guys, that's it for the first day of summer specials. Stay tuned for four more videos coming this week and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao!